All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Craft the World. We're gonna start a new run because I got wrecked. Save game, okay. What? No. But I wanna. Can I choose level? Can I make a new one? Ah, maybe I can just delete this one. There we go. Perfect. New new campaign, new custom game. What's custom game give me? Oh, hey. I'm gonna go large. Weather events, eh. Forest worlds, sure. Tech tree, yes. Game mode. Permanent death. Oh, that's spooky. Difficulty hard, very hard. Oh. Let's go down to... You know what? Let's stay at normal. I turned on some mods that should make life a little easier, so hopefully that'll adjust some things, and if not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay. So I've already forgotten how to play. Also, these sound effects are really loud. Why are they all re really loud? I don't remember. I'm gonna just turn them down. I turned the music off. Alright, pause. Is there a pause? No, but there is... Yes. Oh. There is, there is a pause, but it's not great. New task. Okay, complete the shelter. Minerals, underground, got it. I vaguely remember. Oh. Oh, I see. Let's see. Well, we got that. Cut down a tree. Don't know how to get down, get through. Dig the background and get to this. Okay. I I vaguely remember everything. Yeah, can't get... Ah, sneeze immediately. All right, dig a tunnel, complete the shelter. I don't remember what the last one is. It is make a tool. Got it. I thought I had two dwarves to start with the last time I played. It must be Ty... Oh... Maybe I was on an easier difficulty. Alright. Let me quick bop out. Let me go... Let me go see if I can go on an easier difficulty and if that'll give me an, another dwarf. Oh. New campaign. Nah. Campaign mode. Schmampaign mode. Yeah, let's just bop it down to easy and keep going with the big, big world. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. Because I think... Does this give me two dwarves instead? No, it still only gives me one guy. But I like this terrain generation better. Okay, so we're just gonna chop down everything. And then we're gonna work on some other things. So... Cut down tree. Cool. This is my... Portal. I... Does anybody know this game... Like, that's just hanging out in chat. Because one thing I'd immediately like to know is... Can dwarves... Uh, or can you move your portal? Or is this permanently stuck here? Because if it is permanently stuck here, that's totally fine. Because I, I, I can figure that out. I have an idea. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Do we want to get rid of these bushes? No. Let's... Let's do something different. It's stuck there, but you can build up around it. Cool. What I'm thinking of doing is making a, a gully that specifically goes around my whole base. Okay, so we want to craft. We got to make a shelter. Shelter is kind of limited on what we can do. We can make beware signs, these. We need to make a club. Oh, right, uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got that. Let's put this away for a second. Select dwarf. But I don't remember, I know there's an easier way to equip them with things. But I've to totally forgotten how to do it. And that's okay. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two dwarfs. So I'm gonna just get this going. Uh, let's pop. Gold, silver, population growth. Where's the tech tree? I know it's a thing.
This is the tech tree. Okay, yep. I'm just used to blue. Okay. So I want to get basic woodworking. Which means ladders. Oh no, I can I can just make ladders. Cool. So what I want to do is I wonder. I wonder if there's a specific way. I'm just going to let him go. Just let him do a thing. I Okay, question. Can enemies climb ladders? Cuz that's that's the next question. I guess I could just use portals to get around. So it's it's not the end of the world. One way or another. Why is there an angry bird? Is that even legal? Okay, so enemies can climb ladders. Gotcha. So we might want to just do this based on portals. Because, yeah, last time I got absolutely wrecked. Because my base was accessible and it was a giant pain in the butt. So what I think I'm going to do is just make a... Uh, I'm just going to make a giant ditch and have all of my dwarves travel entirely by merit of portal. Hopefully I'll have enough mana to keep it all going. I think once I get further in, it's not so bad. In retrospect, I absolutely should have put this portal down lower. Okay, most enemies have their own ladder. Undead can stack on shield, to shield skeletons. Goblins will place makeshift ladders. Is there a limit to how far they can do that? So there is no limit? Not that I've ever seen? So trying to make a sky fortress is actually foolhardy and pointless. Yeah, because I know most monsters can and will dig. And there's also flying monsters later on. Okay, so what I'm hearing is... Let's start over, because I've wasted a ton of time on a project that is meaningless. So trying to immediately cheese the AI is not going to work. Damn. Ah. Uh, oof. Alright. So we're, we're just going to play this as normal-ish as possible. <sighs> I will have to make an actual fortress. I will have to actually defend my lands. There's no real way to cheese the AI. I... I am sad mad. Okay, quit. Craft, we want to make usual club. I don't even have enough wood. Probably because he's not brought it. He hasn't actually brought it back, but that's fine. Third first run. I think this is my fourth. It's like my fourth or my fifth. Hey, there's the next dwarf. Okay, so we do not have enough tools. We need stone. Well, we got stone over there. But yeah, let's clear this area out and just have just have an actual fortress with actual walls. I'm going to put the sanctuary slightly up high so it doesn't get wrecked. Maybe. I don't know. The basics of defense are tough. Okay, so dig tunnel, basic woodworking, complete the shelter. Oh, that's why I had uh, done what I had that's why I done what I did with the hatches. I mean, I, I know a ton of people are like, you have to put hatches vertically, but there's like, there's no good indication that that's how hatches actually work in this game. 
Why is it you can make a hatch first? I don't get it. All right. Let's just make some more ladders. I'll I'll put the shelter slightly high higher above, maybe? Maybe. Glad you figured out quick crafting. This game is weird. It's obtuse. Like, I'm glad I figured it out, too. Style. This is definitely one of those where I'm just... Oh, that's... Alright, that's fine. The hatch is first because there's the assumption you're going to dig out the shelter underground. I guess it makes sense. Okay. How do we do this? We need rock. Need a lot of these things. Okay. Got this. Let's just clear this old business out. Now, there's not a whole lot of point in making an underground shelter from my experience. And maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that one. Oh. I guess I'll put that there. It's gonna dig up the ladder, ain't it? Yeah, the problem is all the undead would just hit my underground shelter anyway, so... It didn't really seem like it was worth it. Okay, how are we doing on... on tasks? Flex stones, basic technology, finished ladders. Yeah, key to victory in this game is speed. I can see that. All right, we've got basic woodworking. So, basic tool making, basic armor. Iron working is going to be tough. Okay. But now we've got enough stone, so we can... Nope, but we don't have enough wood. Damn. Maybe I can get a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see, just make it deep enough. Uh, let's see. Make it deep enough that the by the time they reach it, the sun is up. Yeah, but then I have to replace all the blocks. I'd rather actually have, like, good defenses. Which I think is mostly going to be predicated on their having enough dwarves to actually defend. Oh, got a carpenter's book right off the bat. Okay. The other thing is, with an underground shelter, uh, if enemies hit my portal, they start stealing my stuff. Uh, I had a lot of people telling me that one, and that's actually a bit of an issue. Let's see. Do we have enough wood? Nope. Let's see. Gonna let him go there. Gosh, we need those backpacks. We need a lot of things. We'll get there. Uh, let's see. If I check tasks, do any of these specifically give me dwarves? Or no, it's probably based on level level ups, ain't it? Oh, there's the wood I'm looking for. Please deposit quick. Got all of that. I have no idea what they're... I have no idea what these characters... Oh, that's a question. Don't they have unique abilities? She is a miller, which isn't the most helpful. And he is a warrior. What we need is a lumberjack. I'm under attack. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, we get another dwarf. That's a weird creeper. I'm gonna tell him to go fight it. Whatever the heck that was, it is now dead. Now, I see some kind of creepy mine thing, but not a whole lot of iron. Okay, plop that there. We've got a lot more mana than we did. Uh, let's take a look. Do I have enough? There we go. Plop. There we go. 
That should be basic tool making. Done. So we're going to need furnishing to get the bed of leaves. We're going to need a lot of stuff. Now, I forget. Is dirt sufficient for walls? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I get for not playing a game for a couple of months and just being like, oh yeah, this is a thing. All right, basic illumination. Probably work on that anyway. Here we go, torch. And slime torch. I still need more wood. Hey, grunt shop's actually in a really convenient location. So what do we got? We got a bunch of pigs. But I'm going to portal out here. Whoops. I guess kill that chicken, but also cut down just a ton of these. So you can actually, you can double stack portals to keep it around longer. I like that. Well, that's definitely a good justification for potentially, yeah, you can plant trees. I, it's probably an inventory thing, ain't it? I think they grow naturally, though. Wait, you can just portal anywhere in the game? As long as you have a sight radius, yes. Okay, so what are our tasks? Collect coal, cut down trees, basic illumination, basic armor, make better equipment. Okay. Go back to work on illumination. You know what? This ain't worth it. I'm just gonna use portals to get around. Of course, I'm going to have, like, no mana. Is that worth it? I don't know. I'll, I'll decide later. Okay. Well. I don't have enough dirt clods for this, do I? We do have stone, but I don't think we want to do that. Uh, let's undo this real quick. I guess... I guess I will make this underground passage after all. It's going to be pretty basic. We just need enough space to give these guys some bedding. But we're still going to want to build up more than anything else. Okay. Just give them sufficient ladders. Figure it out. As soon as that game Hammer Ting that I was playing the other day, as soon as that gets upgraded, I think things are going to be a lot easier for me. Upgraded? Updated. Like, it very much feels exactly like what this game is, but with slightly better quality of life. I think this just has this kind of weird, janky indie, indie charm to it that should not be denied. Oops. Get rid of it. Nope. Don't want to get rid of that. Alright. I'm going to need some more ladders. Ladder. Build ladder. Yeah, so we're just we're just going to have an underground possible cookout or cookhouse. Definitely underground apartment complex at the very least. Hammerting is quite janky right now. AI is too dumb yet. Waiting on an update for now. Yeah. Because if that get, gets fixed, I will be a happy, happy camper. Okay, so do we start compilation of handicraft ticks, uh, tips? Well, that requires a zombie brain, so we can't do that even if I wanted to. What if these is cheap? Ooh, backpack, which needs rope, which needs wool. Wasn't there... some wool over here. Now, did the... Yeah, it looks like the portal I set up got busted. Oh, but they're not... 
They're not fully grown, so there's no point for that. I'll think about that in a bit. Okay. So I want to craft... We need two hatches. remove that ladder. I guess I'll have to make this into the into the first room. If I can actually get it set up. They're a little slow. There we go. Yeah we gotta get some we gotta get some tools. There we go. I really wish you could actually have hatches comboed with uh with ladders, so it doesn't necessarily block their passage. I guess that wouldn't make any dang sense, but still. Okay, so next up we gotta make a totem. Wait, don't I don't I just put this down? Yeah, I guess I'll just put it right there. Just gotta keep the uh, ghosts away for the time being, so they're not bothering me. Okay, complete the shelter, should be good. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Next up, we need beds. Specifically, I think we need four of them. I need more leaves. Well, hopefully hopefully that'll be enough for somebody. I forget where we get leaves from. Did we get it from that? Okay. Well, I'll get one bed down at the very least. Speaking of dwarf games, Dwarfheim is slowly getting better. Oh, cool. It seemed like it had promise, but was just kind of too janky to actually be good. Okay, there there is iron down here. Okay, that means I'm going to need some more ladders. Tragically, I only have so much left, but that's fine. Let's just, uh... Let's just give them a nice portal. Okay, put that there. Give them a nice portal. I see a bit of iron here. Yeah. I, my decision to come down here was um, probably a mistake. At least without proper equipment. Let's, uh... I got a couple of clubs. Okay. Give him that. And yes, I realize that I've had these characters running around without proper tools for far too long. Hey. Holy shit. I made a mistake coming here. Holy shit, um... Okay. I'm gonna put a hatch on that. I... I really wish my dwarves weren't... So here's the big problem. Just go home. Go home! I... Okay, this is a fail. Let's restart. 
That's easier. Yeah, I just... Gosh, I know a ton of people said the AI is the hardest part of this game, and they're absolutely, completely correct. Oh, I had a kill order on a zombie? I didn't even notice that there was a kill order in there. One way or another, ain't ain't bothering with that. That is a frustrating loss. Lost far too early for my tastes. Yeah, let's just speed run a couple of these things. Uh, let's see. So, I want to say getting that club is big. Isn't the AI a bit special? It It's straight up, like, this game is not very merciful, and the AI is beyond stupid. Yeah, it isn't bad. Uh, it's special. I feel like that's kind of a rude way of putting it. That's a much more pleasant start, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what horrors lurk below. But next time before I do that, I, I thought it would, like, that door, I was under the impression that it might have, like, you know, a couple things in it. Not too much, not too bad. Nope. Okay, let's do that. Also, there's our, there's our dwarf. Okay, equip. Let's just let him go. Let's start working on that shelter. Population growth. Where's an area that has just like a billion sheep? This map is kind of rough. Okay, I've dug a tunnel. I'm just going to prioritize taking a couple of these things out real quick. There we go. What is this? I have no idea what that is. It seems like there's a, uh... Maybe a teleporter? I don't know. Okay, so we want to do craft, wooden hatch. Wait, no. We don't want to dig dig that out. We do want to make some more ladders, though. If I had more wood. I don't have more wood. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, there was a way to go faster. Oh, they're over here murdering the sheep. That's what they're doing. We got meat. We didn't get wool. So maybe murdering the sheep was actually a piss poor idea. Okay, F one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, I just I know times one speed's gonna work a little bit better in my favor, but uh I don't want to sit around for that. So you do get occasional wood for just murdering them. Uh, or wood, wool. Alright. Craft. Ladders. I guess there's no point in building that. Uh, let's see. No, there is a point too. Nope. Still don't have enough wood. Question. remember if there's a way to give priorities based on a dwarf by dwarf basis. There is not. We do have a logger though, which is better than last time. Okay. Put the totem down. I'll just put it right there in the beginning. As opposed to like awkwardly in the middle of the room. There we go. Over here. So we've got stuff. Mage's book. Turn flies into elephants and other spells. Okay, so we can get a wizard.
a whiz dwarf. Okay, house complete. Done. Craft. Here's another question. Now, I don't see anything about growing trees yet. So if I have that ability, I, I currently don't have it anywhere nearby. Maybe later. Okay, so we've got our shelter. House complete. What other task do I have? Collect sand, basic woodworking, collect stones, stuff. Uh, let's see. Dig that out. I don't know what they're doing. Wait, what? God damn it. Did I... No. Oh, it's based on distance, isn't it? So it is. All right. Do I have any other tasks over here? We have a couple of things to collect, but I should probably work my guys to much closer locations. Well, we leveled up, we get our dwarf. That's enough. And we should get enough trees. Wait, you don't have any pine cones? They didn't pick them up. Uh, let's see, they were picking up everything else instead. Okay, we got basic tools. Back to making ladders. All right, there we go. So what do we do next? Probably basic illumination, because that gets us cooking, which I think is really important. That and furniture, we need beds. But to do that, we need trees. Oh, that's a big bad boy. Oh, did I? Well. Uh, let's see, I've got more than I need in some respects. There we go. I got four dwarves. I didn't even notice that. Gosh, that's a big sucker. Yeah, let's just remove all this stuff, grab it, move over. And as usual, the sound effects... Oh, it's probably even the ambient. It's just a little too loud. That's a bit better. Oh, is there more undead? That's a lot of undead. Okay, craft. Do we have enough for beds of leaves? Nope. Right. Let's grab that, and hopefully these guys can start picking things up. Okay, so what is the... Uh, what is the optimal way... Let's see, what is the optimum way to get more wool? Because I feel like that's something I should look into. I thought that was supposed to... Alright. How much money do I have? I got nothing. I know there were a couple of mods centered around very specifically getting more. Uh, let's see. Actually... Replace the stone on that, because I think we need stone way more than we need dirt. Maybe there's actually a use for dirt. Okay, there we go. See, shears are under iron working. Gotcha. Because yeah, I need some string. I see. I see some gold in there. Oh, I need a lot of gold. Uh, not just small amounts, I need a lot. Okay, but do I have enough for beds? Yes. Okay, so that gets us our woodworking. Unable to build a leaf of... Okay, bed of leaves here. Might as well expand that. Holy butts, I got a lot of mana. What I should probably do is look for iron. There's a little bit there on the surface, uh, near the surface.
Okay, question. I'd swear I've heard this singular song like a billion times and I'm starting to lose it. I was gonna try and listen to more like epic music, but I I guess whatever they have is like super limited in variety. So I guess we're just gonna go back to listening to EDM. Hey, we got a rusty mace, cool. Okay, so I need one club, two club, two club, two axe. I know eventually we'll get some better stuff. I guess we make one. And then we need more wood. Yeah, that's fine. I'll make it work. It's annoying that the beds need space on both sides. I get it. But yeah, dude, it is a little frustrating. Alright. Well, we've got a something below us. Make another wooden hatch? No. So in that case, let's not do that. Let's portal out anywhere that has a lot of trees. Not much. We've got this guy. I have no idea if he's actually aggressive or not. I'm going to assume... Probably not, but I don't want to mess with him. Comfort is poor. Eh. Alright, there we go. This is faster. Now, do we have in anything interesting in this immediate location? Not overwhelmingly, so let's just grab what we can and then just... Let's just bail. Okay, so what is what are our next tasks? So kill ten skeletons, craft tech items, cut down trees, basic armor. Flex sand, basic illumination, make equipment. And then basic furnishing. I'll make one helmet. But then we're gonna need beds. How many dwarves do I have? Five. Okay, so actually we only need one more bed, and then we're at least somewhat better. And then we'll probably want to look into increasing the comfort level around here. I really wish I knew exactly how that one worked, but that's fine. How are they doing? Okay, looks like they got everything. Uh, let's see. Grab all the sand we can, and then just come back later. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna cancel this. They can't figure it out. Oh, because the water is too deep. So let's let's just take them home. Hey, zombie brain, Andy. Okay, might as well harvest all the wheat, seeing as it's here. You mouse over the furniture, it should show you the comfort level it provides. I think beds might provide negative comfort level in that case. Certainly doesn't provide any from what I can tell, so we might need some chairs. Or it's just like drowning, go figure. I, mm -hmm. Actually, we don't need to mine that out. I want to replace this whole thing just with grass, so stuff just grows naturally. Better than manually setting it myself. We're also... We're gonna have to look at a lot of things. Uh, let's see, could also just not be lit very well. That is a good point. So it'd be right here. 
right there. Perfect. So is that Stonemason? Okay. That's an option. So we've got a Mages, Stonemasons, and a Hunter's Book. We got a Fisher, Miner, Fisher, Logger, Stonemason. I wonder. Okay, so it barely increases the Stonemason skill, so it's probably not worth looking into immediately. Full we'll background with wood as to comfort. Okay. 